Hi guys, so as promised, I'm going to do a quick review of this product I received with me from Netmoms. I've already completed um, the review for Netmoms on their website. So this is just to let you know what the features of this product is and the questions that Netmom asks us to um, answer in completing the review. Okay, so let's go on. So this is the Movi Teach and Tech. Okay, and it's aimed for kids three to six year old but from my point of view it's mainly should be for about two to five um year olds instead and a six year old may find it that they may know some of the things already that this toy is trying to teach your child um so what does the, what are the features of this product so you have just a quickly to show you so you just require min minimal assembling you just need to pop this in at the back when you get it out of the box you have the on on switch here and also um the middle bit where you can adjust the volume to a low volume which i highly recommend <laughs> you've got two buttons at the top which help you to go between the games in the modes and you have three buttons at the front which is the three different modes for the um, games that are available with this um, toy um, I'll just quickly go through these modes with you so you have let's get this, my information correct so um, first you have the ABC which is the alpha fun action games I must say that each mode comes with two games so in the alpha fun action games you have animal actions and um, where you listen an animal sound and you have to figure out what animal it is and it's a uh, time to sounds of ABCDs and whatnot and then there's the movie says so it's like Simon says but instead of Simon you say movie says um, in the think and move um, mode there's a shape move so it will draw a shape and you have to figure out the child has to figure out what shape is it by pressing um, either the top buttons for the correct answer and a step by step so it's time for a dance party so you're just listening to each of the dance moves and then you put them all together to make a silly dance and finally the big grey button in the middle is the learn and play game so read <coughs> so it's like red light green light um, so freeze one two three freeze and silly sound tag is the another game for that mode so it keeps your child adequately entertained the movie does move around a lot so it's recommended that you have at least 1.5 meters square um, of space for it to move around freely if it does bump into something and get stuck you just simply turn it around for it to keep moving and so okay i'm just going to quickly switch it on so you have an idea what it's like Let's put it under my phone. Hi, I'm Moby. Let's play. Okay. Press one of the buttons on my tummy to choose a game. Lovely. So as you can see, it has a nice animated face and it has different expressions that it uses on different colours. Um, as you say, we press Alpha the ABC mode. Let's play animal action. And it brings up the different games. So if you want Here to switch. Again, so that's the other game in that setting. You press it in this one. Let's play shape moves. Okay, and just let you demonstrate this one for you quickly. Let's make shapes. A triangle. It has three sides. One, two, three. Follow along and solve with me. Okay. <laughs> So it doesn't have much room at the moment where I am, but it will do a lot of moving around. So yeah, you do need the space. Okay. There we go. Quick time, what shape am I? When I draw a pine tree, it's this shape. Okay, and the then square. the child. Green for triangle. You say triangle. Right. And it will do it again. So you have a general idea of what the toy is like. So what are the questions that Netmom asks? 
Um, they asked what the features I liked most. I liked that the fact the toy was interactive, that it moved around. They encouraged the child to move around with it as well, and the facial experience. I mean, um, the expressions as well. And so, what features did the child enjoy the most? I think my son enjoyed again playing the different games, moving around, like the facial expressions, and just being active with the toy and the interaction that he gained from it as well. What skill do you think um, it teaches your child? So because my child is now still developing in terms of his language and being able to follow directions, I like this toy because if he, it helps him to listen and to follow instructions, which he's having a bit of problems do with me at the moment. So I think that toys just help him to do that. And he has been doing some actions with it. So he'll ask, if he asks the toy to touch his toes, he'll touch his toes. It also helps with his um, memory skills as well as learning like his ABCDs and stuff like that. So it's quite a good toy for the young developing child. As I said, two, three year olds, four, tops, five. Um, and how long did the teach and tag movie keep your child entertained for? Um, when I got this toy to review, I had my niece, my six year old niece visiting from the States at the time. And so my eldest son, who's seven, and her were playing a lot more with it than my two-year-old was. So he only got about, um, probably about 15, 20 minutes play with it initially. And my the other two, they had about 45 minutes of it before they got a little bit disinterested. So now that my son had some time to play with it on his own, it would keep him entertained for about roughly the same time, about 10 to 20 minutes. Um... Normally he would like me to come and put it on for him or he'll bring it to me to put it on for him Which he can do himself, but I think he wants that interaction with me as well So yeah, it keeps him. It depends on the child what your child's find interesting It can keep your child entertained for long periods of time But I must warn you it gets a little bit annoying Especially if the volume is on full whack It gets a bit annoying to the adult. Maybe not the child, but to the adults definitely And what would you recommend? Or would you recommend this product to friends and family? I would, um, but as I said, for the age range of two to five and not three to six, your six, seven year old may not find it that interesting if they already know the parts of the body, the alphabet, lion songs, I mean, animal songs, stuff like that. The only thing that may keep them entertained is the games, like Simon says. Um, but apart from that, I don't think there's much in terms of educational value for a six year old who's already probably in year one um who would have that knowledge already for a younger child yes i can see the benefit of it um and you'll be uh, make a good birthday or christmas present since christmas is coming up in a few months so um it retails apparently around 45 pounds um if you are interested in buying this product for your child um so yeah and that's the end of the questions that we had from net mums and this is the end of my review. So if you have any more questions about the product or um, give a thumbs up for the video. If you like it, subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.